Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and let everything that has breath play, praise the living Jesus. Once again, I come to you with another one of those scriptures. Repent, for the day of the Lord is here. Repent, for the day of the Lord is here. Ladies and gentlemen of the world, I bring you to today the scripture is from Joel 3 verse 14, which says, Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, add a blessing to your holy word. We give you thanks, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory, and ask you to bless all the people who are watching. Even though some who are watching don't believe a word I'm saying, but it's the truth. And in time, they will see it. So we have had Joel 3 verse 14. The valley of decision. Decision is a time that you will have to make a decision wh whether to stay or to run. You will be in a position that you are compelled to make this decision when the day of the Lord comes. So we all will have to make the decision. Or at least a decision. In Isaiah 13, I'm compelled to read it to you, not tell it to you. It says, verse 9, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, both cruel with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven... And the consolation thereof shall not give their light, and the sun shall be darkened in its going down, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world. I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity, and will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease, and will lay low the heartiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man more than the golden wedge of our fear. Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. Father, we give you all the praise, the thanks, the honor, and glory, and these are hard pills to swallow, but we are compelled to swallow because we have not, we have not um, adhered to his words. I'll give you one more scripture. It's never enough. Never too much. Revelation 16 verse 21 says, And there fell upon men great hail out of heaven. Every stone was about the weight of a talent. And a talent is like, 70, is like 60 to 70 pounds. And men blaspheme the God because of the plague of hail. For the plague thereof was exceedingly great. Lord, we have heard you. Let me just say something about the plague of hail. The plague of hail is going to be a meteor shower. One of the two meteor shower caused by Nebu 
the planet X when it passes. And when it passes, going north, it will cause, cause a meteor shower. And when it's coming back on its return trip to far land, it will also cause another meteor shower. The scientists have been telling us this over the years, but suddenly they stop talking. So I'm compelled to tell you that hailstones are coming from for both sides of the earth. Destruction is coming to the land. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen of the world, take my advice, repent and seek the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior. He is the only one, only person, only God that can save you from the wretchedness of what is to come. And you say, when is it coming? 2029, 2030, the year of the Lord. Repent for the, ooh, repent, repent. Repent, for the day of the Lord is at hand. God bless you. Thanks for listening.